So I will come back to our base basement at uh, CSAR. And I want to introduce you to the whole team. But before that, that we will do in, uh, in 10 minutes, I want to use this Google to link to our tour. We have a virtual tour. So as I was mentioning, due to COVID, we have to change quite some things that we were doing locally, physically, like the space and experience that has opened out the door to other countries and other places in Spain and as well the virtual tour. So I want to use this time to show you where we work. ISAC is the European Space Astronomy Center that is the base that ESA, the European Space Agency, has in Spain. Do you know that we focus on satellites? And, uh, we do science operations to get the scientific data from the sky. Because of the atmosphere, we are missing or we are lacking from Earth uh, some wavelengths, as you know, so we focus on getting that information back from the outside using satellites. Here at the right side, when you come to ESAC, you will see the Gaia model that, as you know, is measuring uh, the positions and the movements of the stars in our galaxy. And uh, it's uh, why do we need to do that? Most probably I don't have the time now, but uh, uh, later on we will, we will see in the Marina presentation, uh, some catalog, some data collected from Gaia, and you you see how, I mean, we have the proper positions uh, much more accurate than when we had it in the past with Hipparchos. So I will not take more time. These are our facilities, and if you if you turn around, you see again another model of Rosetta. So this is what we use when your kids come to ISAC that we, uh, as soon as the, this uh, COVID uh, give us a rest, we, you will come back again. So we can explain here the filae that was landing on top of, uh, of the comet, Surimo Gerasimenko, never done before. The Rosetta mission, 10 years uh, flying to arrive to the comet, a very small comet for kilometers. So we can speak and um, we can explain your students using the different models. Here, this is ISO, uh, that was the first infrared telescope on, on, uh, uh, in space. Here we have Soho that's still working and observing the sun, Herschel. But I want to use this time to show you some things that sometimes your kids cannot see, but teachers at our teacher workshops can. So when you can, this year we have four already scheduled uh, teacher workshops, uh, you will see this type of rooms. This is the entrance where we have some models. And uh, if I go here, you can come to the, you cannot come, so I go here. You can go to the XMM control room. That is one of the more, more attractive rooms. And here we are receiving data, real data from XMM Newton. It's a mission that was um, considered to be working for 10 years and it's already 20 years working perfectly. As you see, uh, the software is uh, a bit old because it's a, when in operations, when something works, they don't change it much. They change it for new missions. Uh, you will see, you see here that we have flat screens, but in the past they were the, the, the old one. So we are reusing the, the area and we have uh, this is a satellite that has 24 hours uh, connection. So uh, most of the satellites at the moment, the intelligence is on board, but for this one, you need a person that is working here at ISAC or at ISOC in Germany controlling the satellites. So these nice things are uh, what you can see that are real data. We need to collect all this data for later to process it with the pipelines and store it and make it available to the scientists. And you can see how is the, the real life. Um, as it's not, there is not much time, I want to go to the small control room here. This is the system, sorry. The small control room, you may have heard maybe about uh, satellites that are observing the Earth. SMOS is one of it. That is, it has a big contribution from Spain. And uh, that's why the base, the base is uh, at ISAC as well. And it's observing the salinity on the water and the, the moisture soil. 
So you can see here some racks are a bit old, but we also have here, for example, this simulator where this engineer, Jorge, this is one of our, of our speakers at the teacher workshops, is testing some commands on the simulator. So you know that the, the, when, we, when we send satellites to the space, uh, we cannot repair them and also it's very, very expensive. So all the testing uh, need to be done in advance uh, to be sure that what you are going to do on space is not impacting the satellite itself. So this is a small poster that is uh, already 14 years working. Wait, sorry. And for the last bit, I'm going to show you our installations, the CSAN installations. We have computers using remote telescopes. We are on, on the process of, re of making it remotely controlled as uh, Peter. At the moment, we need manual interaction. And because of the pandemic, this has been a bit uh, stopped, but we are on that. And if you want to go to the telescopes themselves, we can come here, we have a solar telescope that when uh, we have normal uh, occupancy at ISAC, we tend to have also a trainee or some, uh, some contracted person opening it and preparing the software. So we have daily images about the sun. And we also have here the recently set up night telescope and as I was saying, this is in the process of being a uh, roboticide. You have here the telescope itself. So we are uh, trying to make our telescopes also uh, robotic and accessible for schools. We are in the process. And this is the room where we tend to have our activities. Uh, this, uh, we have the space and experience on site here. We have 25 students uh, inside and another 25 students doing a turnaround the models and explaining to them. Uh, as the current COVID restrictions, we are changing the room. Also here we had teachers, 50 to 60 teachers, but for next year, the four teacher workshops that we are having physically, we're going to have a much bigger room on another building. So, this is the introduction to the team and all the super teachers collaborating with the CISA team. And uh, if you don't have any question, we can start with the presentation about CISA. It was a good warm up for the rest. Did you wake up? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, I don't hear any no, so then I will start with the presentation. So I want to introduce you to the CISA team, as I was saying. This is a room where we have just stopped. And uh, what is CISA? CISA is a perfect alliance among three partners. It's ISA, European Space Agency, is DEFE, Ingeniería y Servicio de Defensa, and INTA. Is that in 2012? So the CISA team is not the three of us that you see here only, but the CISA, CISA team is much bigger. So uh, as I was saying from is DEFE, these are uh, the supervisors uh, that I work for ISDEFE. I am the contribution for, uh, of ISDEFE to, is, to CISA. And uh, we have uh, the trainees that are, thanks to ISA uh, traineeship, we can have them uh, for three, six months. We have Cristina, our assistant, and uh, we have our, uh, on our daily basis, I am going to change from here to here, on our daily basis, this is the team that is working together. So uh, I am the representation of ISDEFE. Then we have Marina and Sergio that you just met, Cristina, our assistant, Miguel Perez Tayuca, that is the interface for the technical things, David Gonzalez and Ruben, I couldn't make a picture this week from them that are QA and the software engineer. And then we have our supervisors that is ISA Science Division Head, Gaichi Hussein, and Vicente Navarro is a technical responsible. So, I want to introduce you to the CISA team that this, this, this we are. So what is our goal? Our goal is to stimulate the interest in science and technology using astronomy and space science with real scientific experiences to boost STEM vocations and STEM literacy. 
So our goal is that your students became uh, whatever they want to become in space. That could be astronauts, that could be engineers, that could be doctors related to space, that could be lawyers related to space, whatever. I just put here engineers, but we want that your students uh, make history. No, this is our goal. Try to motivate them and help them on that. As Sergio and Marina was saying, trying to inspire them to study uh, degrees. And for that, we have experiences with schools primary, secondary, and soon with universities that are called space science experiences. And our teachers here will later tell us their experience during this space science experience online during this year, this difficult year. We also have teacher workshops. We collaborate in this as, uh, for three years already, as Naira mentioned. And we also do another one in October also with them. That, that one, uh, we organize them uh, with a collaboration. And we also have from four to five Spanish uh, teacher workshops. This year we're having four because the first one was usually uh, using the telescope, how to use the telescope, but due to COVID restrictions, this won't be, won't be done. So we're having four this year. We also have the hand-to-hand -hand work for a week that is uh, an introduction to students of 14, uh, 15 years old about how is working at ISAC. Uh, so it's a company program, company schools program, and they come every year or uh, almost 30 students to work with us and to see all the different professions and all the different jobs at ISAC. And we also have the hand-to-hand -hand work, as we were saying, with our uh, trainees from three to six months with university students, thanks to the ISA internships. So where we are, I was already showing you the, the area where we are, but we also are at all the places where we can add something. For example, some STEM fields, when we were having the confinement, we were giving some talks. We are also at uh, the solar eclipses, taking images for later on uh, to do some science case. Also, we are promoting these uh, activities to motivate girls to, to get to know a scientist and chatea con un astronoma. And uh, I want to introduce you a bit the space science experiences that later our super teachers will talk to you about their experience. So they are educational experiences, as we were saying, for primary, secondary, and university. They are adapted to the Scholar CV from Spain and from UK, and they follow the Agenda 2030. What is this agenda? This agenda has all these points, excuse me, because they are written in Spanish, but we focus on this, on a decent job, on innovation and industry latest uh, state of the art activities to reduce the differences uh, among areas and uh, uh, the gender equality, equality in education, and also the importance of the alliances as we are doing here. We are several uh, partners, uh, IAC, uh, Nucleo, uh, CSAR, Falcons, etc. We are all together because this is a way to make something amazing. So we promote this in our activities. Uh, they are also aligned with ESA scientific research topics, make use of real scientific data. We, we are using the data from our telescopes, but also we have all the ESA uh, scientific data from the archives. We are using all these, all the wavelengths. Uh, we are bridging the gap between students and professionals. We want to show them how professionals work. Oops, does it play? No, it doesn't work. So we want to, when they come or when we, we can show them how the different uh, male and, and female work in a space in this case, they are planning uh, observations for the XMM Newton satellites, or the ones who are planning it for Mars Express, or the ones who, or, or the one were checking the data, uh, so or the ones were analyzing the data. So it's plenty of positions we were saying, uh, or the ones that are taking care of the contractors, or uh, many many positions related to space, not only astronauts. So the space experiences. This is the entrance on the web. We had the space experience at ISAC, as I told you before, and they were, they were and they will be as soon as the uh, students can come back. And ISAC tour, whatever it was called, whatever was uh, too hot, 
students enjoy a lot to see the, the different uh, models and we explaining uh, the, all the discoveries done by ESA missions. And also there were students, or scientists for a day, let's better say, with different activities um, divided by uh, the difficulty and the age. However, we had COVID arriving uh, to all our lives and we had to, to take uh, some measurements and ISA was uh, very clear on this. So for the time being, no one working at ISAC could come and it's some limited number of people also working at ISAC that could come at the time. So they try to be as safe as possible. So we, in, in the team, we have to think again, how we're, what are we going to continue with these physical activities? So we were thinking for a while and then we thought about the online space and experiences. And what do we want? We wanted to have a tool as, well as, as we had before. And we also wanted to be scientists for a day. So as we had to rethink everything, we also thought about the, the way we were doing things and improve, improving the pedagogical way. So we were using the Bloom's uh, pyramid and trying in each a scientific challenge that they were doing, these scientists for a day or scientists for X days, that they had this evolution in the learning process. So remembering, understanding new concepts, applying and analyzing data with these new concepts learned, evaluating themselves and finally creating some posters or some uh, uh, activities that were shown at the end at the Space Science Experience Awards. Unfortunately, this could only be done for Madrid and also thanks uh, Cáceres joined with Guillermo, he did the effort, but we hope in the coming, uh, in the coming sessions also to, to make it also available for all the international teachers that joined. So we had to think with the teachers, how we were going to run the things, we have to provide them videos, websites, presentations, applications, simulations, as much as we could for them to be able to do this in class. As you know, teachers are amazing. So anything that we did, that is, these were part of the material, many videos explaining how to do things, many video calls, explanations, the guides. I mean, uh, at the end, we had the virtual tour and the several days. But as I was saying, teachers will explain later that even if we gave them a lot of tools, they even develop much more, some video games, some uh, uh, research uh, for a long period, they were uh, researching more, they were uploading this to Moodle or to the G Suite, they were decorating the whole class to do this uh, even more uh, lively. So as you know, your teachers are amazing and you don't have limits uh, on your imagination when it's, it's come to your, to your students. So as I said, at the end, we had this Space Science Experience Award with some certifications for those that are uh, abroad uh, in Spain. I'm still pending next, next uh, week to create them and send you by email. And uh, well, we had some numbers here that we, we were doing quite well. We had almost 100 classes. And these are the topics that we have. We have space situation awareness, we have also space situation awareness of two activities about the sun, solar storms, and also uh, sunspots with, collected with our telescope, Earth observation using Google and data from Landsat. We also have mission to the moon. We had also the, this is the one that was, done, I mean, mission to the moon was done by Marina Mola and also Guillermo Vaquero. Uh, this one about uh, exploration and uh, is it life on, on Mars? There is life on, on Mars. Uh, this was done by Marina. So we had several uh, activities with all the guides, teacher guides, students guide, and also uh, videos, explanatory videos. And uh, this is what we had. Later on, I will continue about other activities, but I think that maybe teachers want already to mention a bit how was your day experience, and also teachers talking to teachers about how much time you need for preparation and everything. So I give you the floor. So if you want to start, for example, Ryan, I'm going to share, yes. I'm going to share the link that you gave me before. And I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to share the screen, otherwise it's not working, excuse me. I don't know whether you have any question. 
Okay, I am posting in the chat box again. Um, okay, super. Yes, here it is, yes. So I also recorded one video uh, in the first one. I'm gonna explain you how I perform all these activity in a very different style, because uh, from my perspective in my region, all these facilities are not available. Like uh, uh, when we talk about a basic telescope, so that's not commonly available everywhere in each school. So that's a very common problem as well as uh, from demography and uh, the location that we have. Some people do not have internet connectivity and different, different issues. So they asked me, a uh, few students asked me how astronomers earn money, like how do they earn? Uh, so I come up with the new idea that uh, we do not have all these facilities and we should come up with a better solution. Why not start or grow our new generation to work on this and start digital entrepreneur activity, considering all those things uh, that CSR team also already provided. So every student made their own personal website and uploading all those projects that they are doing, including there is one video from Mana. Uh, she is actually, uh, and a lot of students are making star charts. And I told them that they can sell their artwork online and they can also do earn some money out of this. And uh, this is our website and she's working on star charts and she will also going to uh, uh, like upload all those star charts that uh, as you can see, um, there is one moon, there is a tab of star map uh, in, on her website. And there's a video recording of her as well uh, on main page. If you go back, you will find yeah. that video. Yes, uh, the next to this, yes, this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you can listen because I, I don't know whether I. Hello, everyone. My name you can is this video. and I joined Journey to Space Exploration Summer Camp online. It was so much fun, and Brenda. we learned so much and about I joined space. Journey to Space Exploration Summer Camp online. It was so much fun, and we learned so much about space, stars, and beyond our galaxy with Sir Brian. I also made a, a site that I want to share with you guys with my inspirations like uh, uh, space art and also some other interesting facts about space. Uh, did you know that in the universe there are more planets than stars? And the sun, the light that is coming from the sun is eight minutes late. Then go learn how to generate a star map. Do you know what a star map is? A star map is where you can see what the star looks like on a specific date. If you want to learn how to make a star map, you can join our space summer camp. I joined it and learned so much and I want to keep on learning about space. So see you in the camp, bye. Amazing. Thank you. So there are a lot of things. I posted a link of my Padlet. All those activities the students are doing uh, are available there and their website links. So I'm empowering all those students that they can earn from astronomy. <laughs> I'm inspiring them. They can do vlogging, talking about science, or maybe posting some artwork. And there are a lot of students combining digital art and local art because I'm working with art community as well. So uh, combining their artwork into digital art and then distribute in, in a bigger scale. So this is another idea that we have. So uh, thank you, Cesar team, for all these excellent activities virtually available to access. And you can see all other students, what there, there is a, yes, there is one a picture of it. Yes, this one. Uh, I found this very interesting. She actually used charcoal pencil scale, uh, 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 like she worked on paper and take a screenshot and use digital frame to make a new expression of artwork. So this is another uh, activity that uh, kids are doing that they can use digital and uh, local medium working together 
and create new art practicing or activities. There are stories about uh, about students. They're uh, talking about their uh, stories related to space. And uh, some students are talking about space news and some students are still uh, happy and working on all these projects that uh, we want to come up with a better option because now they have a little participation as well as a, like they have more energy, like they should participate more in such kind of activities. And there is one student, Alina, uh, she is joining, uh, she joined from Khuzdar, that's very, very remote area. Uh, yes, this, uh, so she is working on her science projects as well as including art and astronomy together. So um, uh, she will upload a lot of things soon. Uh, I asked her to upload and finish her website as soon as possible. She's from grade five. And most of my uh, students are from primary school. Uh, this is my target audience. Uh, this is, uh, and to inspire them, start from scratch and also inspiring. And to know that astronomy is not just about uh, uh, talking about stars, you can also do something and um, be more creative and learn about digital uh, skills as well. Meanwhile, yes. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Amazing. Amazing. So maybe um, Guillermo, do you want to talk about your students? You want to share something or just talk yourself? Okay, let's go. Uh, good morning to you all. <clears throat> My name is Guillermo and I'm primary teacher in, in Extremadura, a region located in, in the west of Spain. Uh, during this brief talk, I'm going to tell you about the great experience I have gone through this uh, during these school years with my group of students of second grade in collaboration with Space Science Experience. Uh, my team consisted of uh, 17 uh, children, boys and girls, between the age of seven <clears throat> and age and eight. <clears throat> Also, this collaboration emerged during April 2021, since the beginning of the school years, uh, we had uh, been working on a project related to the solar system. In that project, each student was an, an astronaut uh, who traveled to, the, to all planets, being the Earth, the starting point. In each planet, uh, we learned several contents, uh, related to the different areas, Spanish language, math, social studies, natural science, and art. And this is to say, all the subjects I teach them. To do this, we have an imagine of the rocket that travels through the class visiting, visiting all existing planets. And in order, and in order to land on, um, on a new one, the students, um, the students had to accomplish different missions like real astronauts do. Um, these missions were, were actually different tests to evaluate them. In addition to planets, we have, of course, our asteroid belt, uh, represented by the books they had been reading during the school years. We also had a hidden spice them uh, poster on a commemorative pages of work made for the International Women's Day, about Valentina Tereskova, uh, the first woman who traveled to the space. As you may see, everything was related in some way to the space. So we came across the space science experience and its challenge mission to the moon. The students were excited about a complement every project to the one we had, uh, since uh, we had not traveled to the moon in our rocket. During this challenge, we got, the, we got to know the Artemis program and we wanted to be part of it. We organized the teams and began to carry out the different phases to the change. Through these phases, we are introduced to Patsy, who helped us learn and consolidate uh, different concepts such as the day and the night or the seasons. Where we also learned how to prepare our trip to the moon by making a list uh, of the most th important thing to take with us and analyzing um, it what moon what fast will travel there, how to land or take off from there, or where to establish our lunar base for experiments. 
as a conclusion, thanks to these experienced boys and, and girls, learn how to work as a team, how to collaborate it with each other, discover new concepts, and be involved with experiments, among other abilities. But about all, they have strengthened their motivation and their self confidence. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, Guillermo. Thank you very Thanks. much. Now we pass the floor to Eduardo, that we hear you properly, perfectly, no noise. So go ahead. Now you're mute. Now you're mute at this moment. You okay. ask it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to, to share my screen. Sorry, is the webcam? Okay. It's okay, yes, we see you well. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, you see my screen? Yes. Well, we, uh, at the beginning, uh, we work with the PDFs provided by the CSAR, but after that, we transform them into interactive books for the students to have it into their mobile phones or tablets and could work easily than into the paper. But we realized that the perfect way to, to apply the space science experiences was creating um, an escape room where the contents provided by the CSAR, the PDFs, the missions, uh, bits, links could be mixed into an adventure. Uh, because of the pandemic, uh, the better way was creating it online, like a video game, uh, like this one, the mysteries of the universe, where students can uh, can start the, the game. Here is, is Beatrice, <laughs> and she's explaining them uh, to, to use the game. She's uh, giving them the, the PDFs, and then they have to open open portals, and they have to to watch the bits provided by the CSAR. And when they have finished, they have to search for the, for the tags. In this case, it's a, a form. They have to fill the form and send to the teacher. And if it's correct, the teacher gave them a, a code. And with this code, they pass the screen. And here, for example, is Michael, and Michael is telling them uh, the theory they need for passing the, the next tax. And here, for example, is an, an interactive uh, activity about the distance of the, of the stars. And they have to search internet and link with each star with the distance. And again, they have to send the screenshot to the, to the teacher and go on with the, with the activity. Um, Amazing. We, um, once the activities were finalized by PDF or escape rooms or the contents were explained, we proposed a collaborative work with all the students using all the resources we have, from traditionals to new technologies, besides the ones that CSAR gives, uh, provides uh, us to. But this way, students drew pictures, recorded all the audio, the beats, made slides with PowerPoints, uh, created digital images, uh, organized the posters. And little by little, we all joined the staff together and distribute all the, all the work among the classes, getting a multidisciplinary project and great motivation for our students. Even students from different courses were helping each other for completing the work. We were even lucky because we have a solar eclipse. Uh, so our first year of ESO student built an eclipse viewer box and was able to record it safely in the playground through the projection inside the box. It was not a very good eclipse, but they can record it. I, after that, experiments were in cloudy, like this one of the double speed made by John in 19th century uh, for verifying the wave nature of the light. It's not very good done, but they reach uh, to, uh, to see the patterns of the light, of the wave. And we also uh, use webs provided by the CSAR and, and other ones like this one, for example, 
uh, where we can they made uh, these kind of images mixing all together that you explained yesterday. And with this all work, they have this. This is the, the poster, an, an example of a poster of Mysteries of the Universe with all their drawings, their reads inside into QR codes, um, the webs of the Caesar, uh, HR diagram, objects of the universe with the sky, types of galaxies. Uh, and finally, they add augmented reality. And to stand the poster, it's a maker, and they add into the poster more bits created by them, like this of the mission of the moon, the things they can carry to the to the moon, for example. And, uh, only I want to thank the truth, Michael, and the rest of the team of the Caesar, and of the opponents of this course for getting closer to the astrophysics to the to the school. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, Eduardo. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Uh, we go to Marina Sanchez Baiton, if you want to explain how you were doing your activities. Maybe at the end we, we left some minutes for questions. Maybe you want to know how much time would it take, the effort and those things. Hello. I'm trying to begin. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hello, I am Marina Sanchez Baiton, secondary school teacher, or yes, uh, Juan de la Cierva in, in Madrid. Um, I would like to share my experience with uh, you today. The project uh, we had done this year with Cesar has been Are We Martians? Um, uh, the project has been done with students uh, of uh, 16 and 17 years old. A big, big student. <laughs> and um, um, the, the first question is why this project? Uh, and in, 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 in what, uh, because uh, we choose this. Um, uh, um, uh, the project was included for a subject uh, science uh, culture. The main to uh, topic of this subject are to teach to a student to think. Uh, to process data, to connect with science, and to create link between curricular and reality. Uh, the topics that should be incorporated are know the formation of the solar system uh, and planets, um, uh, scientific and, and technological advance, processes of formation on, uh, the, on evolution of life, and research to, uh, in science. As I will explain now, the project carried out meet uh, these objectives and uh, the formation and evolution of the, of the plan is studied. It included the processes of student life and what instrument, uh, instrumentation will be needed to finish. Um, it also had a simulator where they had to check with planet coal, harbor, liquid water, practices for calculation, Stranberry's DNA. And a very complex research processes on Mars uh, that include many branches of science, uh, such as geology, um, biology, medicine, robotics, physics, chemistry, aerospace engineering, computational. Uh, it was very, very, very complex uh, project. Um, the classroom organization, um, I had 34 students between this age that before I said. And we divided them into five groups uh, proposed by the project with uh, Cesar team. We were doing the project for three months, but this has been very, very special year. It's not normal year. And we, we have uh, had, among other things, a uh, history of snowfall in Madrid included. And I think the normal time will be two months. Um, the session has uh, two sessions uh, um, in the week. Uh, one face-to-face -face and, and another online. And we did a session in computer classroom, but uh, it's not necessary uh, that all of them in computer classroom is, is possible, so only, only one, not, not all of them. 
the objective, um, uh, but the objective is not only uh, objective for curricular uh, only, um, but uh, what uh, comprise much more objective that uh, this project allowed us to work such as um, teacher can work, uh, they can do um, it automatically with the students not good on our service, sur supervisor. It may then look for information and analyze uh, if it's completely untrue, and this is very important for me. Uh, the words as expert choosing specialities that bring them closer to the future. Um, they must gain to consensus decision, learn to make PowerPoint presentation and create poster and defend their in conclusion orally. Eduardo explained very, very well, very similar that uh, we do, we, we did. And uh, learn to make, uh, and uh, they did a very expressive <laughs> uh, uh, expression, oral expression. Uh, the material that uh, we needed for this research was a student and teacher guide. Uh, Eduardo showed before me very well too, a computer and device with touch screen. Install in Google Earth Pro software, uh, Google of the Earth, and PowerPoint. It's not a very complex uh, um, tools that you need on the class. Um, in the project process, uh, the project has uh, third phases. Um, the, 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 phase, the phase is uh, zero, is, is a visit ESA, no ESA. Um, and um, uh, the phase uh, they call to see uh, SR team and know um, the different points of, of, uh, of ESA and uh, the missions. And uh, research uh, two, one and two is learn and investigate about math. And uh, they have point in astrobiology, uh, such as um, linear um, um, uh, practice and um, the different mission of Mars. Uh, and this point is, is in, in, the, the, in the principal group. And in research uh, three and four, uh, in the third uh, research, uh, they have um, to uh, the work uh, how special, and special, uh, um, uh, how expert, sorry. And they study a, a very concrete uh, point and after then they, they meet with another expert to the other group and they have uh, to, to, um, to and they need to have a, a conclusion with all the expert group and have a decisions. And um, after then uh, they have the, the, uh, the, the last point is present in by a poster. Uh, and they uh, have uh, uh, they have had a, a very, very complex uh, and, and complete uh, project. Um, the student conclusion, I copy some of the expression that uh, it, it, it's my student said, um, it has taught us to learn to look in for a reliable resource and to specialists and organize ourselves as a group. Now we know better uh, what a real project of work can be in, a, in our future degree. Uh, we have uh, had to research a consensus and listen to each other. Uh, now we will know what it's like to present our work in public and we love learning in a different way. And our conclusion for teacher conclusion uh, that the, the objective uh, we, we, uh, we uh, wanted to achieve uh, at the start to the project as uh, completely fully achieved is um, it's been amazing uh, to see the evolution of our student and see uh, them speak uh, like real uh, expert. And they've uh, forgot uh, the qualification and focus on research and they have been passionate about uh, this, all of this topic. Uh, now I want to present my student results. Uh, I, they create uh, I, I, different posters and um, in, in, in the class, uh, they decided in, in different points of the CESAR project and CESAR team. And um, um, the idea is that they have to, to amortize, uh, to land there in, on Mars. And they explain the, the best place and in the best um, 
point with uh, to found um, life and it's possible to do with uh, robotic and mister uh, with person or not uh, missions and these are the, they are the 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 different poster that they did and, and um, now um, if, uh, uh, they, they did a great job and we were really uh, proud of the work of the attitude of my, um, of my students and the support of the team has been fundamental for its uh, re uh, realization and motivation. They, they came to online our class and the presentation of poster of our student and they feel very very motivated and important that the team is is with uh, with uh, with us and thank you very much for the team and for my michael beatriz and for all because you have a very very amazing project thank you very much thanks to you marina and we go to, uh, to marina mola and maybe afterwards, if you have some questions, so we continue. You can continue. We hear you, Marina Sanchez. We hear you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> your, your son is around, no? <laughs> the floor is yours, Marina. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to share my screen now. Unfortunately, sorry for this. Okay, uh, my uh, this is uh, our Cesare Moon Camp Challenge story from the ninth primary school of Komotini in the northeastern part of Greece. My name is uh, Marina Mola. I'm a teacher in, the, in primary school and the headmistress of this school. Uh, I implemented it uh, with a sixth grade uh, that uh, consists of 13 students that are 11 year old. Uh, the challenge, as I mentioned, uh, of our school is inadequate school attendance and school dropout. So uh, with the aim uh, for inclusion, positive class and school climate, empowerment of uh, students and inspiring young children, uh, we started uh, our mission to the moon. This is our school. Um, I uh, joined uh, last uh, summer adventures uh, uh, astrono astronomy educational adventures in the Canary Island and learned about CESAR and uh, ESA's 3D design in education for beginners online training this February. Uh, so after having my uh, training, I brought back to my school and uh, combined uh, CESAR and uh, Mission to the Moon and uh, Moon Come Challenge, we combined that. Um, the challenge uh, consi uh, consisted of uh, uh, these phases. We registered and uh, formed our teams as it was proposed. We had four teams. Um, we, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, we started uh, working face-to-face uh, -face in the classroom with my students, um, starting our own uh, virtual uh, classroom in Tinkercad and having fun um, and continued doing this uh, remotely uh, due to COVID-19 and the lockdown, uh, schools closed uh, two times uh, here in Greece. And uh, so the project uh, 
um, lasted, the duration was about four months due to these uh, difficulties we had going face to face, going online. Uh, the educational material uh, that uh, was provided by uh, Cesar was excellent, excellent for face to face uh, teaching in the classroom where I handed it out and for remote teaching where I could uh, share it uh, in uh, my classroom and for flipped classroom as I could uh, give them uh, the links of the videos and they could see them at home and uh, in breakout uh, rooms and uh, discuss them. Um, to succeed uh, in our mission, we worked uh, in teams, as I said, uh, use the scientific method, read, watched, listened, hypothesized, inquired, applied our findings and knowledge, analyzed and evaluated it, created scientific posters about it, 3D printed our moon camp and had huge fun and enjoyed ourselves. Uh, this is um, a snapshot of uh, my classroom where we are watching together in the um, uh, ICT uh, lab, uh, the videos of Paxi. Uh, here we are playing Kahoot. It was a huge success. They, they couldn't play just once. They played it and asked for it several times and in different days. And I also gave them the link. Uh, here, the snapshots are from uh, evaluating with a quiz. Uh, I did it in my office uh, as uh, the, tech, uh, the ICT room, uh, they had another lesson with another class. And so they are in my office in uh, due to the restrictions coming uh, one group per uh, once at a time. And uh, then uh, we did uh, the, um, our posters. Um, this uh, challenge we had uh, taught us that uh, uh, we need to collaborate and depend on each other. It's uh, uh, to be sustainable on the moon, we have to work in teams. Uh, so what my students decided was, sorry, uh, was to have four teams go and uh, have uh, moon camps that will collaborate with each other in order to be sustainable. The first uh, team, the space class one, decided to go to the moon uh, with their own spaceship, built uh, their moon camp and uh, collaborate and, sub and uh, with the other uh, space uh, classes, space teams for sustainability, uh, where they chose to go and build their moon camp on the lava, in the lava tubes to protect themselves from cosmic radiation and uh, meteorites. Uh, you can see here uh, their moon camp. On the ground floor is their spaceship, uh, as well as a 3D printer, uh, which uh, is going to 3D print with lunar soil. Uh, it's um, in, located in an inflat inflatable geodesic dome. Um, their moon camp uh, will have a dressing room in the ground floor in the four um, levels uh, under the ground, uh, they will have on level one, their lab, uh, their kitchen, their sitting room, and they say on level two bedrooms, uh, four bedrooms, on level three algae tank, greenhouse, a gym, and a swimming pool, because they said, a swimming pool and the gym is uh, uh, astronauts needed and uh, the scientists and uh, the teams that are going to live uh, on the moon in order to exercise and uh, the water will protect them from uh, cosmic radiation. 
on uh, the fourth level, they will have a power store generator. Uh, space uh, class uh, two uh, would uh, drill for water near the um, uh, moon uh, poles. Um, and uh, they would also have a, 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 a power generator and um, this is uh, what the space class two did space class three uh, would go to the far side of the moon have a telescope there because there is no noise to monitor space and learn about uh, the universe. Um, and they would also have uh, this uh, uh, ro rovers and uh, vehicles to transport. And uh, space class uh, four, uh, did uh, go to the lava tubes to protect themselves from cosmic radiation. And uh, they were the ones in charge of uh, supplying uh, their uh, other teammates uh, with uh, supplies uh, from uh, Earth. And uh, store it and uh, the other ones will get it. Uh, this is uh, the idea that my students had. Uh, thank you for uh, this. We had a great, uh, um, we had great fun at school, and it was um, important for them to see what they had done. Uh, the uh, 3D designs uh, showcased uh, in. Uh, a uh, moon camp challenge on the website, on Isa's website, and uh, uh, seeing uh, their progress uh, with uh, Cesar and uh, presenting this uh, to the school. Thank you. Thanks to you, Mike. Um, yes. Congratulations, really, for your work. As I said, there were 100 starting. Not all of them arrived to the end because of COVID situation. And as you were saying, it was demanding some time from the teachers, quite some time, and imagination. But these are one, some of the winners, uh, because also your posters, Ryan and uh, Marina, were at Planetarium, where we, did the, where we did the Space and Experience Awards ceremony, ceremony awards. So congratulations to all you, all of you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to just finish to tell you about the teacher workshops and to show us our website. And if you have any questions to, to any of the teachers or me, I will try to leave like two, three minutes at the end. So I continue sharing, sharing my screen so I can show you just some other things that we do. No, as I was saying, we also have some teacher workshops. No, excuse me. Here, teacher workshops, the ones that we already are planning for next year. And we are going to have uh, in English, we are designing, this is still under, under consideration uh, because it has been some, there has been some changes in the team, but most probably is going to happen from the 25th to the 29th of October. Again, a Galileo teacher training together with Nucleo, with ISD, Falcons, etc., cetera, uh, run by, by ISA. Um, and in Spanish, for Spanish teachers, I mean, it's going to be in Spanish. That's why we said for Spanish teachers. But if you want to join, we have four of them already. Uh, I don't know whether you see this one. Yeah, we have, oh, excuse me. We have already four of them for 15 to 18 November for, excuse me, this is a bit, uh, I mean, for April, for February, excuse me, February 2022. Uh, for April 2022 and June 2022. This will have from 50 to 70 to 100 teachers physically here, but we always do this in collaboration with Valencia and uh, with the Canary Island and most probably this year also with the IAEA, Instituto Astrofisica Andalucía. 
Uh, this is our website. I mean, the email when you can write me and this is the, the general email for the space science experiences and the links. So I want to show you quickly our website. I, I put it on grasp. So I'm going to start from the beginning here. If you come to CISA, this is our website. It's very easy, cisa.isa.int. And uh, we have several activities. This is the space science experience, the ones that the, this, the nice teacher were already explaining to us. We have educational excursions that were locally at ISAC, but uh, now with the pandemic, we do virtual visits. So it should be a group, usually there are universities. So uh, for schools, we do through the space science experience, but it could be, for example, uh, uh, as you were saying uh, yesterday, you know, uh, uh, some astronomer, amateur astronomer group or something like that, you can ask here for an educational excursion. So you just write your name, the number, the institution, how many you are, the motivation, etc., and you can do this online as well. We have the interactive cases that are some of the space science experiences, not all of them. The difference among these, between this and this, is that for the space science experience, we guide you. And on the different phases, we allow you to have video calls with us if you want. We we have some video dedicated videos explaining the different guides. We have ex extra information, and this is, we only have teachers and students guide. We don't have this support from face to face. That we have the teacher corner. We have video call at phase two, at phase three, and at the end the words. This is alone, stand alone, let's say. And we also have the teacher trainer that I was saying. So I want to show you how you can be a part of CISAR if you want to be part of CISAR. You can um, uh, go to educators, space science experience. I will go to the online because it's the one that is available at the moment. Next year, we want to open it also on site. And here we explain what the space science experiences are, the ones that we have with the student's guide and the video, interactive video for the students, two, three minutes about the activity that are going to do, the challenge. And here you have the instructions. So to be uh, to have a space science experience with us, that can be as uh, the uh, teachers were saying, Marina, two months. You can do it also shorter. You have all the material, and you can decide whether you want to do it on a day or you want to do the full the, the whole experience and take uh, two months or even more. So you need to register on the CISAR website. This is completely free. You don't need to pay anything. And uh, once that you register, you are a teacher uh, and give us the permission to contact you for activities that we do. It's only that. So once that you sign, my, my name as a teacher is uh, Marte Rojo. You are able to ask for a space science experience. So here we have the several phases. And as we were saying, once that you're registered, you can ask for, for, for one of them. When you ask for one of them, as, as the, you don't need to book a space at ISAC, these are online. As soon as you ask for one, use that one. So choose your language. You should say the language you want, the ages of your students. This is optional. You don't need to write it. And then you choose the activity. So for this age, we recommend, <clears throat> at the moment, this is written for Spanish, the, the courses, you know, the different um the the level degrees in spanish but in the pre, in the previous uh on the previous web here we are telling you the the age range for each one of these activities as well we need to update this so for example you decide to do following some spots and then you write the number of students that you're having in this case is as many as you consider logic to to have in parallel, maybe you have three groups working at the time, or you have only one group at the time. So this is uh, your decision. And uh, we had from 130 students that teachers were dividing in different activities to 20 uh, times seven. You know, they were having several classes. So you can have, you can ask for an experience per class or all together as you want. So you ask for an experience and then you can start it. So it's, it's as easy as this. 
You don't need to wait for September. You don't need to wait for a, a slot. You don't need to wait for having stays here for booking a, a, a bus or whatever. So we give you the materials. These scientific cases are, for example, for following some spots, you have this uh, for all the cases. Is a, this is a scientific challenge that is saying we have detected a solar storm. We also have observed with the Helios telescope some sunspots. Uh, we want to protect the humanity. Can we count on with you? So it's something trying to attract the students. At the end, is behind is fun, but also quite rigorous. And we are giving you the student's guide that is the material presented by before by the teachers that this is the guide that the students are following. With phase zero, when they know about ESA, the CSR team, phase one, when, when they refer some concepts about what they know, for example, and they, they also create their own teams. Some concepts like, uh, do you know what do you know about the solar system, latitude and longitude, some things that they know, they should know from the uh, scholars curricula. And then we start explaining to them concepts about, uh, I mean, we ask them compare the sun to earth and we explain it to them, how is the sun, etc. So this is happening in all the guides, the student's guide. And you also have for yourself a teacher guide because you don't need to know everything that is asked here. So we want to help you to be easily, fo to easily follow all these activities uh, uh, with your students in class. Uh, apart of it, uh, but uh, we also, uh, we, we ask you, because we are supporting you, we ask you to tell us what activities you did, for example, from one to the three, and go to the next phase. On the second phase, we offered you the chance to have a video call with you and your class. So you book the date. At the moment, they are not open because we have just finished, but we will open it soon. So we give you, uh, as I said, for per phase videos, uh, and also the option to have video calls with us if you need some help. If you have some, what, what are the questions that you want to ask? I don't know, uh, we want to clarify uh, what are sunspots? So or how do they form? Whatever you want. So we are reading this behind. So we are supporting you, the teacher, running this activity with your classes. It was, uh, ah, because I didn't select the date. Okay, as we don't have dates open, for the video call now we should say no we don't want a video call but you have the chance to have a video call before starting every monday we have a teacher corner uh, at phase two at phase three that is when you really do the challenge that what is the challenge in this case we give you data from the from the solar telescope from the csr to solar telescope and you're going to use this web tool where you are going to try to see how the sun rotates looking at the different images collected of the sunspots. So all the information is uh, on GRASP. Uh, I don't want to take more time because I think I'm already on time. So thanks a lot for all your uh, patience listening to us. Hope you like it and that you are motivated to do this uh, something similar. Thanks a lot. <laughs>